We're doing it neat. We're doing it on the rocks. We're doing it. This whiskey is very, very often recommended. We're talking about the wild turkey. Wild turkey 101. <laughs> gentlemen and welcome to the flavor cloud where did you end up from <laughs> all of a sudden <laughs> all right the two of you are here to compete to name the most frequently tasted flavors in wild turkey 101 giddy up yeah all right gentlemen please flip a glenn coin to see who claims the honor of the first flavor hell yeah Rex, you have rights to first flavor. Well, what's the flavor? Alex, nope. reveal the flavor cloud. That was not smooth at all. <laughs> the flavor cloud is a visual representation of the flavors whiskey drinkers are collectively finding in Wild Turkey 101. The contestants are locking in their answers now. Rex, you have first flavor. Cherry. Keto. Bull. Actually, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> you can keep cherry. I'm going to take vanilla. No, no. Vita. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna follow that by caramel. Oh, all right. And you Wait, got... what did you replace yours with? What did I replace it mine with? Wait a minute, you vetoed cherry? I voted no, he cherry. Didn't. Wait. No, 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 no. He oh, no, no, I said you no, could have it. Sorry, I'm losing track of it. You vetoed cherry. You vetoed cherry. Yeah. And I replaced it with vanilla. <laughs> no. No, he's doing that because that was my next one. No, no, he vetoed cherry. Uh, he, he vetoed cherry. Ha, we're going to spend 75% of every episode arguing with Rex cheating. Oh, my God. You got cherry, you vetoed vanilla. Vanilla is off the table. Okay. No one Rex, gets vanilla. You have cherry. What's your next flavor? The coin flip has to mean something. <laughs> if he already locked in a flavor and got it vetoed, well, then that means the coin flip is meaningless. What are you talking about? <laughs> because I didn't lock in a flavor. Yes, you did. You're it's cherry. A cherry. <laughs> <laughs> I just really want vanilla. No. I could just feel, I could feel the vanilla, vanilla right vanilla. here. <laughs> yeah. So other than cherry, do All you right, want the caramel flavor. that I ended up with? Uh, what yeah, caramel's what I ended up with. Do you yeah. want it? Why would you give it to him? Because I spoke too soon. Mother. Rex, what's your next flavor? I don't give a f this guy. <laughs> What's your next flavor? So did you veto anything of mine? No! No. Okay. Caramel. You can't. He has caramel. <laughs> what are we doing? Honey. So you have honey and I have caramel. So now it's your turn again. Um, no, it's Daniel, yes, it's your no. turn. Vetoes. No, I vetoed cherry. No. <laughs> I have honey and vanilla. <laughs> no. Everybody, everybody, shut your face and listen for a second. <laughs> Did you beat Tonkin Cherry? No. All right. So, Daniel, what is your second world lamp to? What is your second flavor? Oak. Okay. Wait, I thought his second. Everybody, shut up. <laughs> Rex, what is your third flavor? Caramel. Mother. <laughs> what? What Caramel yeah. has been chosen already. Fuck it. <laughs> Your opponent, the only one you're playing against. <laughs> Oak. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, brown sugar. Again? Oh, that's a good one, brown, brown sugar. sugar. Yeah. Nice. All right, I'm gonna say spice. All right, good. I should have thought of that one. Wood. Hmm, we've exhausted my big ones. That's what she said. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> we've exhausted my big ones. Toffee. Vanilla. Nope. No. <laughs> Hold on a second. There was a moment of panic. Did vanilla Did just we fly never through? Say that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say cinnamon. Okay. While you're calculating, can we look and see? Yes. Got their butts you kicked? may now look at the flavor. I honestly cloud. don't remember what I said. <laughs> hey, Kermel. Look at how even Vanilla. all those big numbers oh, Holy spread. look at cinnamon! Look at brown sugar. Dude, I did not think cinnamon was gonna show up like that. I think it's the same. Oak wood. and wood, those so are both good. something. Okay. Uh, I did caramel, and I did oak and wood. I got honey, and I are big. Oh, you did get are big, and that's almost as big as vanilla. It's beefy. Brianna's breath uh. is on there, and it's right above <laughs> dead turkey. Must be boozing 24 seven. It's because of my turkey noises. <laughs> Oh, that wow, that's very good. The scores are in. The winning score 
was 1,420. Wow. The losing score was 904. Oh, wow. 500 points. Yeah, yeah, but still, even that 900 yeah. would have been bigger than any other Yeah, because last time total. was like in the 600s mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. The winner is... Daniel! What? No! No! no. What? How? What were the, what were the flavors? So oh. your big money was oak. Uh, 462 points. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, I'd write up there yeah. with vanilla. And that was like one of the last things you chose? Yeah. Caramel, that was 368. All right. And then you really got it in there with cinnamon at the end at 246. Dude, your sleeper flavors took Even it. more yeah. than brown sugar? Brown so, sugar had 236. Okay, so they were pretty, pretty close. close. Rex, your big money was cherry. Okay. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 322. And you let that go the first one? I did. Yeah. yeah. All I'm right. Congratulations, Daniel. Ah, yes, yes. Hey, we learned a lot today, and my wisdom is rock hard right now. <laughs> it's the perfect time to check out uh, this week's sponsor. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Premium mattresses customized to fit your needs conveniently shipped to your door. Check this out. You get the mattress, it's in a box, and then you open the box, it's tightly packed. It's impossibly small. Even though this is a king, this is a freaking king. But first I gotta unroll this, and then it goes, boom, inflates in your presence and says, oh Rex, flop upon me with your mad meats. <laughs> You're gonna go through a sleep quiz, make sure that you're getting just the right mattress recommendation for you. I've been on Helix for well over a year, probably going on two years now. At this point, I personally own six Helix mattresses. It includes a 10 year warranty, so you know this is gonna be good quality, and you have the flexible financing options, so you make sure that not only is the mattress customized to fit your needs, but whatever the budget situation is, it customized to fit your needs. Never let Brianna in the studio. It's like a bull in a china shop. It's just, <laughs> Brianna, do you have a 10 year warranty? I've told her she's not gonna last 18 months. This chick needs a helmet. I don't last 10 years. Don't look at me like that. I got 10 years left. You fell off a ladder yesterday. Yeah, there was a bird. <laughs> <laughs> now here's the best part. This is the reason why you absolutely should consider Helix for your mattress upgrade. We're talking about a hundred night sleep trial. You don't know if a mattress is gonna be right for you until you sleep on the silly thing. You got a hundred nights to figure this out to make sure that this is the thing that you need. Now, if you're thinking about upgrading your mattress, Helix Sleep is doing a Memorial Day sale from May 15th to June 4th. Link in the description down below right now. You're gonna get 25% off your Helix mattress, plus two free pillows, helixsleep.com slash whiskey. Hey, 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 are we gonna do this? Yeah, you think you can do this? Do you think you can do my job? What are we doing? Exactly, get out of here. <laughs> you get out of here. <laughs> she goes face first in the glass. We asked the MBs, how are you drinking the Wild Turkey 101? Neat on the rocks or in a cocktail? Neat's gonna win, it always wins, but by how much? 54%, whoa. That may be one of the lowest neat pours we've ever done. On the rocks is 24%, in a cocktail 22%. Interesting. So whenever it comes to the bourbon on the rocks, Wild Turkey 101, it's kind of a go-to. Absolutely. It's kind of a go-to. Either a Texas cask strength yeah. or Wild Turkey 101. Those are my go-tos. No, the vast majority of the time I'm pouring yeah. this neat. Yeah. But I think the last time I probably put somebody else's bourbon that's not ours, somebody right. else's bourbon on the rocks is probably Wild Turkey 101. Absolutely. Wow, it smells more oaky and like wood tannin than I would have thought. I'm gonna give this 15 seconds to cool down because we got a big old rock in there. Yeah. But you got that oak. Man, that was something from the flavor squounced. That oak layer. Oh yeah, that went big and it's wow. still here. Now, I thought it would get sweeter, but yeah. um, I'm trying to remember what rocks does to all the other things like scotch and I think it, it mutes the sweetness at first. It very often changes something that you weren't expecting. Yeah. This is why it's worth doing. Let's, well, right now it smells oaky and not as sweet. See, I get some sweetness. Well, I mean, yeah, but less, less so. Because I would less. think of this as dense, almost syrupy. Man, okay, I gotta be honest, we're on very different wavelengths. I'm okay. getting more sweetness. All right, let's try it. This is getting watery. It's not getting, well, mm -hmm. look, this is hardly, look, this is like a minute. Yeah, taste it. All the sugars are muted. It's more spice. I've already decided I'm gonna disagree with you. Yeah, it's fine. It's all spice and oak, which is great, actually. That's preferable. Because usually whiskeys get kind of sweet and You're flat. way off. It's all spice and oak. 
I don't know what I was thinking. I should just turn in my medallion right now. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, if you do like that sweetness, mm -hmm. I, you gotta do it neat. Yeah. But I like that it is got, it has character, it's got tannins, it's yeah. all still there. I'm two sips in. Mm -hmm. The sweetness is starting to creep back. Because it's watering down. The first approach was like the spice and the oak. You were wrong, it's the spice and the oak, Daniel. <laughs> but now. <laughs> so you're telling me that the vote was effectively evenly split between rocks and cocktail? Very close. So on the rocks, 24% in a cocktail, 22%. Yeah, so. Let's see what it's like on a cocktail. Like lead into the cocktail. Let's, Let's see, see what, what it's like, like in a cocktail. cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this recipe grabbed it from the comments. Shout out to, what's your name? V Devo V. That's your real birth given name. Pretty cool. Let's get our mixing glass. Get some ice in it. Two dashes of Angostura bitters. We'll do four, because we're doubling it. One dash orange bitters, so we'll do two. Simple syrup. Uh, you didn't say how much simple syrup, so we're gonna just do a little bar spoon's worth. A few drops of maraschino cherry syrup. That's pretty good. Press, not muddle, an orange slice in a maraschino cherry. Okay, just drop the slice in there? That can't be right. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of that in there. Some big ass ice TM, two and a half ounces. Wild turkey, I like your style. That's a solid amount. Nice, give it a good stir, Let's pour it in. Oh yeah, oh that's got a nice color to it, look at that. Okay V Devil V. Damn, steep though. <laughs> Cheers, old fashioned. Oh damn, that's pretty good though. When it comes to the cocktails there, yeah. One of the things that we are often saying is if there's a whiskey category that stands up particularly well yeah. to adding a bunch of layers and flavors, bourbon. Absolutely. Yeah. And to do a higher proof, yeah, 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 yeah. it's going to hold its own, I think. It's actually an old fashioned recipe that was in the comments on the community tab. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, good choice. Old fashioned, that's yeah. a classic. Bitters and some kind of citrusy, mm. maybe? That smells musty. <laughs> oh, no, that was my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, this is about to get weird, because I know where your hands have been. No, rubber glove. Okay. Yeah, it smells like the rubber glove. Best case scenario is yeah, rubber glove. I was just, I was just taking a sample of the septic tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not there anymore. Now, <laughs> now that I move my hand further down the glass. I got a, oh, there's a really nice um, sweet cherry note. Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? Oh, it's, well, a, it's simple, very sweet, but it's nice. Though. It is sweet. It works. Kind of classic. And the cherry shows up on the nose, and then it really shows up towards the back end. Yeah, that's of not the, bad. The flavor. We asked our community of whiskey lovers, what do they think about Wild Turkey 101? This is the 101 proof version of the Wild Turkey. Oh, 38% said four stars, but they got beat out by three stars at 43%. Two stars think it's met at 9%. Five stars, only 7% of people, as much noise as the MVs make about the Wild Turkey 101, only 7% think it's a five star bourbon. Then one star is coming in at 2%, fair enough. That's an average rating of 3.4 stars. That's, yeah, I think the 101 has been dethroned. By what, we have yet to see. If you like Wild Turkey 101, I've got the perfect whiskey for you. That whiskey, hang on a second, I got a little, is Green Spot. Green Spot is the, what are you doing? God damn it. What are you doing, are you getting paid by Green Spot? What's happening right now? No. This is not okay. No, no one said anything you about getting one paid. Job. The actual recommendation, TX Bourbon, which is actually, it's actually, really good. So, uh, <laughs> this is using a uh, pecan yeast that they uh, discovered to make a true Texas bourbon that has everything you wanted from a Texas bourbon, but it's not as tannin forward as some of the over oat kind of notes you can get if you don't like that really oaky forward note. It's got a little more subtlety. So, it has that same oak forward that Wild Turkey 101 has. It has that same dense brown sugar, but it also has this sort of waxy walnut uh, kind of pecan kind of note. And strangely, a little bit of a citrus note. And it's just a, it's a 
damn good bourbon. Bad whiskey reviews. Maybe they're on point though. For Wild Turkey mm -hmm. 101. Death in a bottle. To be honest, nothing great can come of drinking this stuff with friends neat. There's no holding back in this one. Yes. It's a straight bar fight with bikers equipped with brass knuckles and bats. I cannot recommend this whiskey to anyone who cannot handle waking up in someone's house, not knowing who they are, and why they are calling you son. <laughs> <laughs> It felt as if I were burning a hole through me. My friends and I couldn't stop laughing because we weren't expecting it to be that bad, but a coworker recommended it since it was one of his favorites. Burning a hole through him. Yeah. Hmm. Burned a hole in my <laughs> This was terrible going down and terrible coming back up. Every time I'm within range of wild turkey, I barf my entire stomach out. If you go at a heavy whiskey really hard, you're gonna have a bad time. What you do is you get something with some sack and you give a little sip. A little like sack. a delicate lady. Yeah. Like this <laughs> <laughs> This stuff is the devil in a bottle. Every single time, this will turn the night from a good night to a fighting kind of night. Again, I think people are coming yeah. at this way too hard, man. Well, let's find out. Should we fight? Mm -hmm. All right, Kyle, I'll play this for you. I don't know if it comes across as a little too realistic. Here we go, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> they look real, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. She's fine, she's over there. Brianna. It was real. No. He fucked you right No, it wasn't real. Watch the woman. Yeah. <laughs> now we're canceled.